Hey guys, Don Rice here, <clears throat> and I'm just kind of playing around a little bit. I thought I'd show you where I'm at. This is, uh, I've just got uh, the first, the only thing I've got on here right now is the first two flaps on either side, and I've just double sticky taped a couple, um, these are high tech, these are analog uh, micro servos, these are HS65MGs. They're supposed to have about 30 ounce inches of torque, which should be double what I need, um, times two, which would be fourple what I need. And so I've just taken um, a scrap piece of this 16th inch uh, uh, push rod material and went ahead and put a solder clevis on it here and, um, and strung it into um, the first flap. Now, um, I can't put it through the, the very first piece of nye rod here uh, because as this opens, uh, the nye rod would be getting um, really pressurized against the side of this part of the cowl. Uh, this, this part of the cowl right here is the only part um, that doesn't have a cowl flap on it, so it's immovable. Uh, so I expect that this push rod will go down. It'll go through this first one here and so Let me clamp this thing in place Like that and I've got this hooked up to a little servo controller. Whoa easy hold everything in place There we go and you can see that the uh, push rod bends a little bit under the load right here, right here, and straightens out. So I'm not sure if that's going to be an issue or not. Um, if it is, then I may end up having to put uh, some kind of a wooden brace, some kind of a trellis, you know, right here to provide some um, some bracing right right along here. We'll see. So. That's just a status update, and we'll talk to you soon. Later. All right, so the next step was to um, create a, um, a little plate. I've somehow got to get these little servos mounted so that they can drive that, um, that push rod, that cable. And so I <clears throat> uh, made this out of 16th aircraft ply. There's, uh, these are, um, it's basswood. These have been high sawed to the cowl. Um, the next, next thing I've got to do is I'm going to screw this down to uh, the basswood, although it's not very thick, so I'm not sure how well that's going to work out. And then um, Emma, don't fight me. Nice tight fit. All right, so ah, now I know why it's wrong. Cause you're supposed to be no. Hmm. I've got something bass backwards. Ah, there it is. Duh. All right, so those will go like that, and um, some screws with a screw right here in the middle as well, and all right, see you later. All right, so this is probably going to be the final installment. Um, I finalized the mounting of, of the little servos. There's just one little number two screw holding them into these maple blocks and uh, I can't put a clevis on both ends of this because I need to be able to feed uh, this cable through all the little pieces of nye rod so got an easy connector here and 
Um, got it all got right now. I've got it all hooked up to a little servo controller, and you can see things starting to move. Just opening them slowly. There we go, and we have we have just just enough clearance here, and you can see that things are starting to bend a little bit. So I'll need to put in some some kind of bracing, a little trellis or something uh, in here to shore it all up a little bit. But uh, the basic mechanics are now done. So hang on. go. I just got the little controller on cycle mode at the moment. A little bit of tweaking still going to be required here. Got a, you know, it's a thing with flexible cable that's almost five inches long here, completely unsupported. Um, going to need to do something to give it a little bit of support. All right. That's it. That's cow flaps for a F4U Corsair. This is the Zeroli. Later.